I think calling a lot of Twitch stuff being horny or biased is really an understatement at this point of time. Most so is that when it comes to real life streamer, they can just show a lot of their skin and just wear micro bikini and be done with it and they won't even get bad. But when it comes to VTuber, yeah, even if you play a game with game character showing bikini or swimsuit, immediately get banned apparently along the line hello there how should i um, make a kid that is obviously today random chat we are going to talk about twitch it's it's like how many times have i been talking about twitch all the time about how they are double standard or hypocrite or being biased is really getting out of hand and even more so is now cra even crazy that it, what made me even mad is about how people like v twitter or even like people who don't even debut or even people saying like oh those people deserve ban it's just don't even understand the hypocrisy a creep or the standard against tweet itself so today we are going to talk about the issue on that but actually more so why we should be mad at twitch as well as those people who don't even understand so just shut up so i mean like sure i don't even deserve to give too much day but i will just try to make it simple when you have like real life streamer showing their fresh or skin or what their body as as much as possible even their butt themselves and just wearing a tongue or micro bikini and to do it's like oh my i'm horny i'm not going to bend this year girl i'm gonna watch it along the line but when it comes to like girls vtuber playing like horny games or playing like uh sh like showing their body part just for a few five seconds along the line immediately twitch is like Warning, warning! We're gonna ban this paper no matter what. Oh my, isn't that super lush shoe? The thing is, right, the word a lot of people need to understand is not that, oh, they should get banned, they deserve the ban for for whatsoever is against the rule along the line. The thing is, right, why a lot of people are mad, it's not about because, like, they break the rule. It's that when real life streamer showing their skin, doing the same thing, they don't get banned. Even if it's not under eight, even if there is no indication of adult mature warning or it's just under just chatting, they can just show their skin body part to attract horny guys to them. But when it comes to VTuber, immediately in no way that is allowed, even if there is so called warning set in place or even things that indication that people should not do this. It's just that the reason why we should call to it is that the double standard they've been showing is really getting out of hand. It's like, even like Rasa indicating that if a fresh tuber or a fresh streamer they want to fresh their body they f they are fine, they don't get banned. Like, even like when I was like, even like anti show quite a lot in. The tweet, I can't even show it because it's really that ya buy and they never get back. They can stream for like one, two, three, four hours and they still end the stream and never get banned. Sure, that sure it's, they will be saying like there will be some moment where stream will get banned, the person will get banned, but it's like how long? If a VTuber do it immediately seven days to one month, a real life streamer doing it? Oh, just give you a few time now. Go and take a rest. Like, dude, that is the reason why we've been calling out to it. Is that why is it the double standard show against VTuber versus a real life streamer is so much different. But when when people just saying like, oh, they should get back. Not like, right. If Megalodon did break the rule, yes, she get back. I can understand. But why is it that real life streamer get le way less punishment, but VTuber get the longest one? Like, what make it that way? Like, what the where's the standard? Where's the bias? Where's the hypocrite? It's over there. Fuck on the side. Like, why are a lot of people just making this kind of noise, not understanding why there are people trying to call it? And those people like V Twitter or people saying, oh, they deserve it. Like, they don't even debut. They don't even understand. And probably they are just jealous that because people like Megalodon are so successful, like people are near like very successful. And when they call it, say that, oh, they deserve it. It's like, dude. Big event, immediately banned. Show something, also banned. But when you come to fresh tuber, oh my, I'm gonna just jerk it to it along the line. Yeah, at this point of time, if they really do jerk off to those kind of people, I'm gonna just say that I'm gonna make sure that I make a 3 meter packet with a metal pipe inside and I'm gonna bong that in the head with, a, with it no matter what. And it will be not just one time, not just two times, but a lot of time to the point that they have a big, big 
bump over their head and it will be what I love to see along. So the thing is, right, I'm not trying to like say that we should be instigating violence, we should be doing things along the line. It's just that when they are doing this sort of thing, it's really like, why are they showing double standard against VTuber when a lot of VTuber is already kind of like trying to grow their audience, trying to make things. And a lot of things a lot of people need to understand is like Twitch, if you want to understand why people are mad, is that if you allow real life people to do it, then obviously people like VTuber will follow suit. They are, we are just copying what's the winning formula, the winning equation. So if you like people can do it and they get more audience, obviously VTuber will do it. So if you do not want VTuber to do it, don't just set the rule. Implement and force it against the real life streamer. If you can't like do it against VTuber and not against the streamer, the real life streamer, obviously people will still be mad about it. People is still gonna be angry about it and even right now a lot of people is really mad about twitch over the so-called favor reason about how they are just basically don't mind about racism and political to, to be taught on their own platform at this small time so at this point it's like people is going to be even mad at twitch even long and if twitch one day fall why well, i'll be them i'm just gonna clap over here and people may un misunderstood that voice for some reason. The thing is, right, I, I'm not trying to indicate like should we actually go and bong each of the staff or whatever. Like, if they want to show standards, show it to everyone. Everyone has to be equal. If you show favorism, obviously people are going to be mad. And even if you say that, oh, there's no favorism, just like how Nichi Sanji is, there is no favorism in Nichi Sanji. Yeah, when you show like fresh tuber is able to get not punished, but VTuber immediately get banned. Yeah, I think that is some form of so-called favorism or bias or double standard along the line. And obviously people are mad. Even I am mad. So the best way for everyone to actually have a better standard is that you, if you wouldn't want people to show it, tell everyone that is applied to all people. The one, the thing is right, they Twitch themselves say that it's all people, streamer and VTuber alike. But yet the one getting banned are VTuber, not flash streamer, not the real life streamer, not face cam streamer. Every one of them can show their but or their chest or their body and they can just do it and get more audience but VTuber just show a freaking hit for five seconds and immediately sayonara yeah I really wonder why but at the end of the day what can we do maybe just continue to stream make noise and maybe tell Twitch to maybe be better along the line but what can I say Twitch really Either you fire the person who is not doing his or her job properly, or maybe hire someone who is actually having a proper standard. If not, people are going to keep making noise. People are going to be getting mad at Twitch. And people are going to trash on Twitch. And then what can you do? Make noise about not making money? Huh. That's on you. But anyway, at the end of the day, it, this is just my speculative thought. It's just a random check. Whether you have your own view, your own take, your own opinion, do it in the comment section. We can discuss it further. If not, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I'll talk about stuff that sometimes makes sense, doesn't make sense, although it's random at times. But the whole one thing I hope is not random for you guys is have a nice day online. Bye.